Oh, hello. What? Uh... <laughs> yes. No problem. Oh, Erica. I don't think so. Erica! Oh. oh, fine. Just do what I say. <gasps> well. Ridiculous! Ugh. I will make you mine. Hmm? Good. Naturally. Think this through. Ridiculous!
Erica. I beg to differ. You touch me again! The Betails.
Over here! And here! Oh, I felt that so close! <laughs> Almost got you! Whoops! Try again! <laughs> Not bad! You dance quite nicely, August. So do you, Charlotte. I've never had a dance partner like you before. You move with the grace and ferocity of a wild animal. Is that a compliment? It's not an insult. Oh, it seems like a shame to kill you, but you look so delicious. Why, you! <laughs> You'll have to shoot him to get to me, darling. Oh, then why haven't you fired again? <laughs> Look at you, Erica, working with the Heartbreaker. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> but either of you could have joined me instead. Why must you both be so foolish? I'm the one that freed you, August. I would have let you be who you are. We could have killed together. Hmm, I never thought of it that way. Is that offer still on the table? You fucking worms! Fucking... Silver! I'll kill you both! <laughs> Who's killing who now? Uh. Now then, are you ready to die, Charlotte Patel? No, no, please! Tell me about the contingency. Give me a reason not to push one more inch of this blade into your chest, because I know the tip press it just against your heart. I just wanted to protect Patel. What? Fuck you. Why was it you? What made you so special? Oh, Lucky. <laughs> Don't you know? I am special. <laughs> I am all that matters. I am the passion. I am the enforcer. Not this time, you aren't. Goodbye, Charlotte. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> To 
release her desires. But you're right. She doesn't deserve that. The only desire she had was to consume. So, where are the others? You didn't remove his heart! was working on her? <sighs> I tried to ask Stacy about that. She said he's staying downstairs, whatever that means, and he's not supposed to come out. August and I saw a passage leading into the ground when we first started exploring. Maybe that's what she meant? Ah, oh, yes. I'm very curious to explore down there. Almost. <gasps> I, I think so. I just... I never killed before. It, it feels... Necessary. Let's go find Liam. Stacy did say downstairs. <laughs> I haven't seen any other stairs lean down. A dungeon! Hello? Anyone down here? If you are enemies of the Batales, then you might be friends of ours. Why, hello there. Erica, I think we found the fourth vampire. Come here. You should stay away from him. Ah, look at this. Two vampires served up on a silver platter. What? What happened up there? I heard gunshots. That's my father, Gustav Patel. He... he, he was still in Patel? He's been down here a long time. It's not safe to let him out. 
Yeah, more than the rest of us. He lost the last of his humanity a long time ago. Now please, tell me what's going on. We killed Julian and Charlotte. Now we're here to kill you. Oh god, they're really dead? Weren't they always dead? Isn't that how this works? Either way, their hearts are splayed on the floor of the mansion you bought with the blood of this town, so... You... You bastard! Get away from the bars, get away from the bars! Be careful. He's more powerful than the rest of us, especially if he's had blood. Don't believe anything Liam says. He wants to see us fail. I want to live! And if you let Dad free, he might kill us all. Let me help you! Take these silver cuffs off me! It's... it's really true. You're all... monsters! Why did you come down here, Stacy? I just... I... I followed you down here. I, I wanted to protect Liam, but... Oh God, help me! Stacy, do you have the keys to these cuffs? Please, for everyone's sake, you need to let me out. I, uh, I think so. I, I uh, just... Oh, that's disgusting! That's... that's... Now! Do it now! I wonder, old man. Can you tell me anything I don't already know? What are you doing? Finish it! You must know something. You built the towers, or your family did. Tell me. Anything. What do you mean? Dad. I'm sorry. Erica! We can't stop now! Please. I helped you. I don't want anyone else to die. Please, just let me go. 
There's nowhere to go. Do it, Erica! Wait. I could try to walk between the towers. Maybe for humans. As for me, I don't know what'll happen. I've always wondered, but I was too scared to try. Now, what other option do I have? My family's dead. The town thinks I'm a murderer. Please, please just let me go out on my own terms. Gustav turned into a rat, yes? Do you have an ability like that? Is that why you wore silver handcuffs? No. He's lying. Obviously. He's weak and outnumbered. If we give him another chance... I'm with Erica. Let Liam leave. I agree. Please have mercy and stop killing. Well, we did set out to kill three vampires. Three vampires are dead. Fine. I admit, I'm curious to see what happens when a vampire tries crossing the towers. Careful now. Fascinating. Oh, Erica. I suppose. Hello there. <gasps> Fucking fed. Is this a joke? Try spinning in a circle.
Oh, spare me. Are you paying attention? If that's true... Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a sec. Well... Can you imagine? But... Don't be hasty. Bad idea.
Even if we find something, I reject whatever a man like Gustav would wish to bestow upon me. Let's just get this over with. You thought the last war might be it. Fuck it. That contains a lot of the same books, but it's bigger, I think. The Book of Esther, with a Z. That's strange. This is very bizarre. And behold, Lucius had a vision of the end. The end of Earth, the end of Air, the end of Light, the end of Oras. And so Lucius convened a meeting of the four, and he asked for their help. And the other three came. Triglav, the many-faced beast, Savina, the lady of life, and Alina, the queen of passion. Each of the four gave a different plan for saving the world, and Lucius said, We shall negotiate with the end by amassing gold and magic. But lo, the four disagreed. They bickered and fought and could not form a plan. And so Lucius enacted his own plan, for he did not need the four to achieve it. With his magic, he granted people's wishes, and they gave him gold and jewels. His efforts saved humanity from the wrath of Esther, who accepted his offering. And then she consumed the four, and none of them remained except within her. And thus Lucius Christ, the Prince of Peace, the Undisturbed Flame, saved all of humanity by sacrificing himself. No, Erica. It's complete and utter nonsense. <laughs>